guys, so uh, today we're going to move on to reflection. So remember uh, the week before spring break, we saw translation. So now we're going to be talking about reflection. So just reflection, just like it is in um, when you look at yourself in the mirror, that's a reflection, all right? So if you think about when you're in front of the mirror, what happens? If you lift up your right hand in the mirror, it's actually the opposite, all right? So you have to keep that in mind. Um, a reflection is a transformation which uh, flips the figure over a, a line. And the line is just called a line of reflection. So a line of reflection. So in um, today's lesson or for reflection, basically we are reflecting over the x-axis or over the y-axis so literally we are flipping the figure over or just like a reflection it's just going to show the reflection all right so i promise you this one is a easy easy lesson so example number one it says triangle abc is being reflected over the x-axis is being reflected over the x-axis so over the x-axis so the first thing i want you to do is basically to highlight you are highlighting so you will highlight ooh, you will highlight your x-axis all right so you will highlight your x-axis and then so this is the mirror basically this is right here this is going to be your mirror so you are going to reflect this over or you are going to flip this over to the other side uh, the way that you do that is if you count from so for example if you look at the c right here you count the opposite way so this one went down to this one's going to go up to one two so there is my new c all right and remember the prime now B is already on the line, so B stays there. Um, now A went one, two, three down, so one, two, three up, so A prime. And then we're gonna draw our new figure. So what do you see here? Well, the figure flipped over, it flipped, now, do you guys remember what orientation means? So orientation means it's still looking the same way. Well, if you are uh, looking at yourself in the mirror, are you looking at the back of your of your head or the front of your face? Well, you are looking at the front. So basically, your orientation change. Your orientation change. It is now the opposite way. So for a reflection, orientation changes. So orientation changes. Now what about congruency? Congruency, remember congruency means if it stays the same size. Well, if you look at yourself in the mirror, are you changing size? No, you are not. So orientate or uh, congruency, we can say preserves congruency. So the word preserve means that it doesn't change just keeps it it keeps the congruency it keeps the same size all right so now same thing as translation we're going to look at what happened to the point so my old a was positive one negative three my new a is positive one positive three so now my b my b doesn't really change because it stayed in the same spot my b is three zero and the new one is the same thing and then my c my old c was four negative two my new c is four and positive Alright, now let's look at uh, from A to the new A, what happened? Well, let's look at the X's here. 
what happened to the x's? Yeah, they stay the same. So nothing happened to the x. So for the rule, we can say nothing happened to the x, right? We just write x again. But let's look at your y. Let's look at your y. From this one was a negative 3, now it's a positive 3. This one is a negative 2, now this one is a positive 2. Remember, we are looking at a mirror, a reflection. So a reflection means it is the opposite. So if you remember, we said in the reflection is the opposite way, right? It's the opposite. So what happened to the y is that it changed to the opposite. So if it was a negative, now it's going to be a positive. So the way to write that is you write a negative sign, but this is not, it does not actually mean it's a negative. It does not mean it's a negative. It means opposite y. So this is how we write that, opposite y. All right? So if you look, it reflected over the x-axis. stays the same. The x coordinate stays the same, y changes to opposite. So it's pretty easy to remember. It, it reflects over the x, x stays the same. It reflects over the x, x stays the same, and y changes to the opposite. Now to answer the question, it says, tell me more about this figure. Is it congruent or is it similar? We already talked about this. As it is congruent. It stays the same size. All right, so now let's look at uh, reflected over the y-axis. So again, we are going to highlight the y-axis. So once we highlight that y-axis, that lets us know that is my mirror. So I am flipping over the y-axis. Remember, it's the opposite. So with this B, I went 1, 2, 3 to the right. Now I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left. Let me go to a different color. So that is my new B. With the C, I went 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Now I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. All right, and the, with my A, I went one to the right, now I'm gonna go one to the left. And there you go, there is my reflection. So what do you think is gonna happen to the points? If they're reflected over the Y, which one do you think is gonna stay the same? Well, let's see. My old A was one, negative three, my new A is negative 1, negative 3. My old B was 3, 0. My new B is negative 3, 0. My C is negative, oops, wrong one. My old C is 4, negative 2. My new C is negative 4, negative 2. So if you look at the points right here, what happened to your points? Give me just a moment. Okay. So if you look at the x-axis, what happened to the x-axis? Yeah, they became the opposite. So it's a positive 1, now it's a negative 1. It's a positive 3, now it's a negative 3. It's a positive 4, now it's a negative 4. What happened to the y's? Well, y stays the same, right? So again, with this one, if it reflects over the y-axis, y-coordinate, stays the same, x changes to opposite. 
pretty easy to remember. If it reflected over the x, x axis, x coordinate stays the same, and y changes to the opposite. If it reflects over the y axis, y coordinate stays the same, and x changes to the opposite. So how will we write this rule? So which one? It, so if y it reflected over the y, y stays the same. So nothing happened to the y. So what happened to the x? X became opposite. So we write opposite x. And that is it. All right, guys. So go ahead and practice your guided practice. If you have any questions, please message me. Have a good day.